Well, that's how many miles I got on it, guys. And uh, I've been doing some thinking and talking to the dealer. So uh, when it comes March, uh, I think we might work out some deals and buy the car out. Because I personally love this car. And uh, with them low miles, I mean, it's going to last me a long time. I've had it three years. That's all the miles I put on that thing. That's all I put on it. I love everything about this car. The only thing I hate is the seats. Other than that, it's a good, good car. Got, I get good gas mileage. Uh, my truck isn't going to last forever, so I'm just doing some thinking. And uh, like I said, you got to start somewhere. And uh, I'm happy with this car. I love the CVT so far, but uh, don't let me down, please. So, I just thought I'd do a quick vlog update and stuff. Um, I downgraded my internet, guys, so it's not as fast as it is. And I disconnected my cable TV because I think that net neutrality, uh, all the companies went up. It wasn't just my provider, it was everybody's. And I think they have to go up because they got to pay for bandwidth costs and everything else. You know, everything just keeps going up. Um, and like I said, it's... That's the trouble. Everything keeps going up and then people disconnect and then it makes it worse for the company too, which is kind of sucks. But yeah, so I'm probably not going to do live streams too much, but uh, don't hate me on that because it's going to be getting pretty busy this summer. And I won't have time to do YouTube too much, but I'll, I'll be doing as much as I can. So if there's no videos for four or five days, don't be alarmed. I went out there and try to spray them damn weeds. I tell you that they dis they're just so annoying and I had to get some special stuff so I wouldn't kill that tree and look at that cotton I tell you but yeah that's what I've been dealing with there and then today I had to pay some bills so I was doing that today and then I had to go to work today so I've been busy and I went grocery shopping and then now I got to tend to business here and do some house repairs it is so darn humid I thought that this coil was freezing up so I took that putty off of there that wasn't freezing up but it's just dumping water like crazy down there and I got the dehumidifier going but it's running in the sump pump pit because that sump pump never runs and I thought well might as well use it for something look at the humidity 63 percent in the basement that is high it was 75 when I started it so it's going down everything is all wet and damp here and I don't want to have everything rot out so that's why I got that set at 70 degrees the air conditioner and that can't keep up it's running 24 hours a day seven days a week and you should have seen the humidity and dew points that day here it was the dew points were like in the 80s and the humidity was 100 and we had some pretty nasty storms but luckily it wasn't as bad as they said it would but out west hope you guys are okay because you guys got 100 mile per hour winds who is that lurking over there? Oh, it's Snickers! Oh, look at Snickies. Here's that Speed Queen. I used that last night. I love that washing machine. Oh, I love them things. They're a lot better than LG. That's for sure. You guys remember I bought the LG V30 phone? Well, it had so many problems, so I contacted Verizon, and they were nice enough to let me trade it off and get my iPhone back. So. I bought the same one that I had last time, my iPhone 6S Plus 128 gigabyte, because that's the only one I got in an Otter box case, and I didn't feel like spending more money on that. So it really went down since I bought it. It was a thousand dollars I bought. Now it's 500 bucks. So yeah, LG V30, you suck. Any LG does. And I'm not using this camera right now because I got to get some batteries for it. Uh, the batteries have died in it. So I'm using my old camcorder, so the, the quality may be not so good. But it's not the end of the world. I'll get some batteries for it. I need to get the Canon batteries. The, I've been using this camera so much for YouTube. I think I've had it for a couple years. I don't know. But anyway, you charge them and use them quite a bit. And stuff just goes downhill so fast because the more you recharge and the more you use them, the more the batteries don't last. They don't seem like anything lasts as long as it used to. So I'm just going to do a quick update, and then I don't think I'll be able to do live stream as much, but I'll try. But uh, the way I downgrade my internet, I don't know if it'll handle it or not. We'll see. We'll see. And there's my setup there. 
that I had to get my old cameras going on there. And I was watching Zip Ties and Bias Ply spraying brake cleaner into his IDI. <laughs> I was watching, I was like, I would never do that to my IDI. I would never do that to it. I, I would never red line it and then spray brake cleaner and then let it stall like that. And oh, I killed it. But I was going to let you know. Uh, well, let's look at the comments here. This guy told me what to do here. And I'll explain what I think I found or what's wrong with that truck too. Some more problems. 95 Voyager ES, he told me about the cracked each injector and stuff, and I looked at a video. And I found a guy doing the exact same thing, cracking each injector to see how the engine would run. There was, on the right bank, there was two injectors that were, when I opened them up, the engine smoothed out and didn't run so rough, but it was smoking, not as bad. And as soon as I shut them, then it ran rough. So it tells me that... The injectors, the eight injectors that that person put in didn't pop them or check them or pressure test them and they're, they're not putting a, uh, a thin mist in an injection pump maybe time too. And then uh, it's not getting a fine tiny mist, it's probably just shoot and feel on there which is hard on the engine and hard on the pistons and the rings and therefore I don't want to run it too much until we get that fixed. So I'm not thinking this year it'll be fixed, it'll probably be next year. There's the one glow plug out on the right side. All eight glow plugs are working except that one, so it'd be seven glow plugs. The relay's working. I tested that. All the glow plug ohms, everything looked good except that one is completely dead. Um, and then also, there is uh, three injectors on the left bank on the driver's side that are bad too because I opened them up and the engine smoothed right out and ran like new. And I did not film them because it was yesterday, it was the 4th of July, and it was too tedious to do that when it was running, and uh, that fan is scary with the water pump out on it. I was worried about that thing breaking off and cutting my head off, but you never know. So, <laughs> But anyway, now I know that them injectors are crap, which I figured they were, and my dad figured they were crap too when we put them in, because it never ran that way. I mean, it, when... We, it never ran that bad until we put these injectors in there. So them injectors were probably not pressure checked. They're probably not. They probably never worked when we got them. They probably were bad when we got them. And I think they were Rain Man. And they're probably crap when we got them. And they weren't too expensive. So it's not the end of the world. But new fuel filter, change oil definitely because there is fuel in the oil. I checked that. The oil is full, but there's fuel in the oil. That's not good. Antifreeze is full. Everything's good. The engine looks good. The compression looks pretty good. Does not stall anymore since I put that in mechanical fuel pump in there, which is a good plus, A plus. But uh, it needs new fuel system yet put in and and uh, the fuel return. It needs a lot more work and the front suspension and everything's pretty tired in that thing. But um, we'll go down the road again, probably, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. It probably just uses a farm truck like it has for the, since 2002 or whatever we owned it. So, and that starter that I replaced, that was original. It said 99 on there. That wasn't the right starter. I don't think that starter. I took it apart. The fuel magnet was cooked, and the brushes were cooked. The bearings were good, but everything was not good. It was melted inside. So, yeah, that starter was done. I told my dad the starter was done, but he said, oh, the starter's fine, and I took it apart and showed him. He's like, oh, I guess you're right. The starter isn't good. I said, no. It was really, I could hear it really halting when you put two batteries in there. It should crank faster than that, you know. So, anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Um, I'm going to try to get some more videos lined out soon. I uh, hope you enjoy that. I'll try to live stream. I don't guarantee you that it'll be good quality anymore because I had the downgrade because I think everything went up all over the world, not just my provider, you know. And my provider's been really nice to me. And uh, I, I want to, you know, thank them for letting me have the services with them. And they watch my YouTube channel too, so I can't complain. Right? Snickers! Oh, she's like, leave me alone. But, yeah, I don't want to complain to them, guys. They've been really good to me, and and uh, every they all watch my videos, the, the internet provider. And thank you for, you know, the service and keeping my internet going for YouTube. I appreciate it. And then also, guys, uh, 
try to get out video when I can. Like I said, I gotta, I'm gotta. i gonna be working pretty hard this week, so I don't know if I'll get any videos out. I'll see if I do. I do, I guess. It's just like some people say, why are you gonna cut down on the videos and you sell, oh, so I make a video. Well, I have time, which I didn't think I did have time, so then I make a video for you guys. All right, guys, well, thanks for watching. Have a great one, and uh, I'll continue to work on that IDI for now. Um, I don't wanna film it all the time because I did so many videos on it. And I'm trying to work on it, and it's hard to hold a camera and try to focus and not screw up something. And i got to do some more testing on a few things here. And I want it to be running good so I don't wreck it. I don't want to wreck the engine. The engine probably is already wrecked. I hope not. It does not have any blow-by come out the air cleaner, which is good. Or the oil cap, so it's awesome. All right, guys. Talk to you later. And sorry for the low-definition camera, but that's all I got for now. So.